Hey guys and welcome back to the MC Nails. Today I'm doing my nails in acrylic and also I'm going to be using the Mission Control paints from Young Nails to do a cute and nice design with some Swarovski crystal. Now to prep the surface of the nail, I just pushed my cuticles back and I'm using an e-file to remove some cuticle that is left on the skin. And then I'll be using nippers to cut off any excess um, skin, making sure that I don't cut live skin. Next, I'll be using the ball bit to remove some skin on the extra skin on the skin um, that wants to get lift away, not on a high speed, just on a low speed to remove and make it nice and smooth. Um, don't rush it. Don't put it faster than probably five because it will probably burn you and it, it hurts. So make sure it's nice, low speed and just remove as much as you can. If it does not want to be removed, don't force it or nothing like that. And that is it for my prepping. Now I'll be picking the nail tip that is perfect for my nail. Make sure it is um, wider than your nail, at least a little bit wider, not that much. It's better wider than shorter because then it's gonna be looking a little bit funky. So um, take your time, make sure it's the perfect one for you. I am using square um, nails today, which I barely do my nails square anymore. But um, yeah, I wanted to try something different. And these are with a strong C curve. And now we're gonna prep our nails to place our tips. I am starting by sanding um, my nails. Um, first, I am gonna make sure it doesn't cut me, obviously. But then I'm gonna be using a file to round out our edges, and then I'm gonna be using an e-file, a 180 e-file, um, on top to score a little bit the nail so the glue holds on well with the nail tip. You can also use a file to prep your nails. Um, a 180 is just fine for your natural nail. Once you're done filing your nails on top, at least on the tips, now we're gonna glue our nail tips on and afterwards we'll be cutting and shaping and making that nail perfect and preparing it so we could add our acrylic and there won't be no lifting afterwards. Now that we are done with the nail prep, we are adding a dehydrator to make sure there is no oils on your nails so there won't be any lifting. This is very important to do. And next, I'm gonna be using Extra Bond. Um, this is a primer that I'll be using today. Also to help the products stick to your nails and there won't be no lifting. There is a lot of things that you do sometimes just so you don't get lifting but it, it is worth it um, sometimes you can use on um, the primer one to two coats 
um, especially if you are a lifter if you know that your nails lift a lot make sure to use two coats and I'll be using today Mio Secrets um, core powder the cover beige acrylic powder now as you know I am not an acrylic person I am learning I am self-taught um, little by little and I think I've been doing very well and mostly getting close to the cuticle area sometimes I go a little bit too far but I clean it up as I go so let's start with the application I'm just gonna add a bead on top and little by little just um, you know helping the product move down and make sure gravity is your friend here make sure you um, use the gravity for you you know and as you can see I am prepping my first nail and sometimes the first nail does not come out the best um, because you it's like you forget sometimes how to apply it and once you see oh wait I need this much product and this is how it goes and then it's gonna be all right so yeah let me show you how I do my nails and we'll be right back when I'm done Now, as you can see, I'm on my second nail, then I'm going to do my third. I forgot to film the fourth nail, but I did do it. And then I'm going to file and make sure everything is nice and smooth. And I'll check if the apex is right, if the um, thickness is right. I don't want it too thick nor too thin because if not, they're going to break. Um, and then I'll be right back. Um, so you can see how everything is coming out to be and we're going to start with the nail art look how beautiful they came out to be i know i need a lot more to perfect but today i'm going to be using your nails mission control paint the color fizz which is a beautiful beautiful white color and i'm going to be using their very very small um brush to be doing the nail art that I'm going to do today. This is my first time doing a nail art with this product um, on me. So if you guys want to see my last video, it was me opening the Young Nails um, product and I bought all 12 of them. I got the full set and I just did a quit swatch on each color. And today I am doing a beautiful and simple design on my nails. Here I am just doing two lines from the edge of the nail and I'm going up. One is going to be longer than the next one. This is a little bit hard just because I move a lot and I do not have a steady hand at all. So I'm just going to put my hand down and try it once again to see if I could get it a better, you know, line, a straighter line. <laughs> and I'm doing it little by little so it comes out as thin as I can get it for now. Thank you. 
now I'm going to be creating a curved line um, from the free edge towards the end of the nail and this is going to be from fat to thin and then I'm going to do another one on the other side from fat from the middle thin to the other side and I'm going to fill that one in with white. I don't know if I explained myself but you have to see because I am really bad at explaining things. And then I'm going to do a a gem. I'm going to put a Swarovski crystal on it. And this one is, is in vintage rose. This is so beautiful. I also forgot to say between each line that I did, I did cure for 30 seconds. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, ruin it during the way. And now I'm going to be using the mission control paint again and I'm just adding some dots on it. And as you can see here, I am filling that side with white with the mission control paint. I think this is a beautiful look. You could use it for a lot of things, for weddings, for proms, for just anything, really. It's just nice and simple. And I'm just gonna be doing my ring finger also with this same design, just um, alternating the sides that I fill in with white. And I'm, on this one, I am not gonna put any Swarovski crystals, I'm just going to add some um, dots with a dotting tool. Here you can see how the design is coming out. I think it looks so beautiful. And now I'm going to be adding a top coat on each nail. Where the Swarovski crystal is at, I'm just going to go around the crystal, not on top because I want it to stay nice and shiny throughout. And make sure I get nice and close to it also so it does not fall or, you know, just come out anytime. And afterwards, I'll be curing that for a whole minute. And to finish everything off, I'm going to be using this cuticle oil Christmas tree. Oh my god, it smells just like pine. And for the season, it is just perfect. And I'm just going to put it all over my cuticles, making sure they're nice and rehydrated. And I'm going to clean my nails so you guys could see the final results. Here are the final results. I hope you liked the simple but beautiful look that I did today. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!